Hi and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I know I certainly am doing well. I mean, it's the weekend after all. So what's not to like about the weekend? Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing the match preview for Manchester United versus Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so last night I watched Eric Ten Hag's uh, press conference uh, interview. And basically one of the first questions that one of the journalists asked Ten Hag was which players were returning from injury. So Ten Hag basically mentioned that Rasmus Hoyland, um, Harry Maguire and Erwin Bissaka uh, were all back from injury. Um, and apparently all three of them trained with the squad all week. But apparently towards the beginning of the week, um, they basically just did live training. And it was only towards the end of the week that the three of them were able to join in full training uh, with the whole squad. So he did say that it was looking good for the three of them. So it's looking like Bissaka, Maguire and Hoyland will be available tomorrow. However, he did specify that um, even though they took part in training yesterday, today, uh, which is Saturday, uh, he would need to assess them one last time in, in today's training to see if they really are fit and ready to, to play in the Liverpool game, which is tomorrow, obviously. So it's looking positive. It's looking like Maguire's back, uh, Bissaka's back, as well as um, Hoyland. So also he did talk about Mason Mount and Tom Heaton. Apparently, I don't, I don't even get how Tom Heaton get, got injured. I mean, he's our, I think, what, third choice goalkeeper? But even he's injured. Like, I don't understand what's going on with the medical staff at Man United, honestly. Like, the amount of injuries that we get week in week out are just ridiculous like how is a guy who's not even playing getting injured you know but anyways um another one mason mount he's apparently also back from injury uh, apparently he also did uh join the the first team training towards the end of the week so tenag was happy with that but from the sounds of it it doesn't sound like he's going to be ready for tomorrow's game so i don't think we're going to be seeing mason mount take part in that game tomorrow i mean mason mount if I'm being honest, when we signed him last summer, I wasn't so happy about it. I just thought, why? Like, I mean, if you were going to get him for a good deal, then sure, fair enough. I mean, the guy had less than, he had, he had one year left in his contract. But we went and paid £60 million for him. Like, I don't get it. And then Chelsea, we took that £60 million and we went and spent, spent like, what, about 40 And got themselves Cole Palmer? Like, they literally upgraded. We could have used that money to get Palmer. Obviously, he's only was at City, so I don't know. City would have been willing to sell him to us, but from what I know, apparently he's a Man United fan, Paul Palmer. He grew up as a United fan, but for some weird reason, he ended up playing for City. Um, but anyways, we spent 60 million amount. I think he's barely played 10 games this season. season. Um, if anything, I think I only remember him completing 90 minutes once, and that was in the Carabao Cup early on in the early stages. So for me, it's been a waste of money when it comes to this amount. I, I genuinely don't get why we signed him. But anyways, let's, let's get back to the match preview. Um, enough about Mason Martin and the injuries. So um, another question which Ten Hag was asked in relation to tomorrow's game was, um, does he think Liverpool are the favourites coming into the game? I mean, it's 2024 and they basically referred to 10 years ago when uh, Moyes said Liverpool were the favourites coming into the derby or the, the rival the rivalry against us uh one of the matches we were playing against them it was Liverpool versus uh, Man United at Old Trafford about 10 years ago when Moyes was still the manager and apparently Moyes, Moyes said that uh, Liverpool were the favorites coming into the game I mean that guy man how ridiculous is that you know but fair enough Ten Hag basically answered it without really giving them what they wanted to hear like what he said was um he tries not to think about uh, um the rival teams that like he, he respects the rival teams we play but when it comes to games at old trafford it's more about us as man united he tries to focus on us which i thought was a fair enough answer because what is he supposed to say yes liverpool are the favorites i mean let's be honest we all know liverpool are the favorites you know liverpool are genuinely the favorites coming into this game but uh tenag i thought answered it properly he can't come out and say they're the favorites so i was happy with his answer um another thing which he was asked was um the Champions League. Uh, they asked him about the Champions League draw. What he saw when he saw it. Uh, what did he think about the Champions League draw? And 
Did you feel disappointed that we were not there or did you feel like we would motivate the players to want to be there next season? And Tenag basically responded by saying that, look, for us we see it as a motivation basically and we want to try and qualify for the Champions League so that next season when uh, the draw is happening for the quarterfinals and the semifinals, United also take part in that. So again, I was happy with his response when it came to that. But yeah, so given the fact that we've got a few players returning from injury, um, this is how I would line up tomorrow, or how I would personally prefer us to line up for tomorrow's game against Liverpool. Uh, so obviously in goal, I'd go with Andre Onana. <clears throat> I know he hasn't been playing well throughout the season, but the past few weeks, he's looked decent, he's looked, he's looked alright, so I have no problems with him starting tomorrow. Um, uh, at right back, given the news that Aaron Van Bissaka is back, I would prefer to start with Van Bissaka at right back because he's going to be coming up against someone, a tricky winger like uh, Luis Diaz, who's just full of endeavor and tricks and skills. So I know uh, Van Bissaka is not great going forward, but defensively, trust me, in this whole world, I don't think there's any 1v1 defender who's better than Aaron Van Bissaka. Like, the guy is just, you can't go past him. You know, he's very good with the tackle, the slide tackles, and. You know, he's just, I feel if there's one player who we can put uh, to mark Diaz out of the game, it's Aaron Bissaka. And then with that said, I would put Delow at left back. Uh, another reason why I would put Delow at left back is because I'm not trying to see Victor Lindelof at left back against Mo Salah, because Salah's back now. <coughs> he played 90 minutes on, <coughs> excuse me, on, on Thursday against uh, Sparta Pra. He even got a goal and three assists, so the guy's back, so... Let's put the lower left back. He can play left and right back, but he's better at left back than Bissaka, so I'd rather have him at left back. Um, in at centre half, I'd go with the pairing of Rafa Varane and I would have said Evans, but seeing as Maguire is back from injury, I'd rather go with Evans. So sorry, with Maguire. So I'd rather prefer a centre back partnership of Rafa Varane and Harry Maguire. Um, another thing which I would look at is when it comes to the midfield. Um, this might surprise a few people, but I would rather go with try and have a solid midfield of three central midfielders who are actually going to run and try and, 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 and cover because a midfield three of Bruno, Casemiro and Kobe will definitely got, get overrun by Liverpool's midfield. So I'd rather go with <coughs> excuse me, Casemiro at the base um, and I'd have on, both, on either side of him, I'd have Amrabat and I'd have Kobe Manu on either side of him. I know Amrabat hasn't played well all season. In fact, if anything, he's been rubbish. He's been absolute rubbish. But since uh, post the AFCON, uh, he's looked decent in the few games he's played. Uh, he's looked all right. So I play Casemiro, Amrabat, and Kobe Manu uh, as my midfield three. And then don't worry, Bruno uh, fans. I know you guys are probably thinking, what, what about Bruno? Uh, what I would do is I would play him in the false nine role the same way we played him against Everton play him in the false nine role because you know Bruno has no discipline to sit in the midfield and stay compact so let Casemiro Kobe and uh, Amrabat stay compact in the midfield three and then in the false nine just before and uh, just in front of those three I uh, put Bruno and then I put <clears throat> two pacey wingers either side of them um, in this case I put Rashford on the left and I put uh, sorry I put Ganacho on the right uh, this would at least, at least allow us to have some form of an outlet when it comes to counter attacks because let's be honest we're not going to dominate that game we are going to get dominated by liverpool they're going to stifle us they're the better side um and even though ten Hag didn't want to admit it which i agree with him not admitting to the press liverpool are the favorites coming into this game so we're most probably going to be playing defensive football we're probably going to have to play on the counter for most of the game so if I'm being honest, I don't mind it for this game. I hate the way we play football. I've hated it. It's been a very, 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 very bad season for us. But when it comes to this game, I understand it. You can play defensively, Tenag. I've got no problem with it. Uh, let's be defensive and look to hit them on the counter. And then having Garnacho and Rashford on either sides of Bruno as the wingers is good for us because I feel it gives us an outlet. And then again, I know I've left out Rasmus Oiland. But for me, my thing is, I feel like this season we've made the mistake of bringing or rather rushing back players from injuries uh, when they aren't fit just as yet. So I don't want to make that mistake again. Like 
<clears throat> excuse me, because we could do that with Rasmus and, and just end up aggravating his injury, the same way we did with Desandro. You know, Martinez was injured for quite some time, and then we apparently rushed him back, which led to him getting injured again. I know the latest injury he got was against West Ham when Sufa basically fell onto his uh, his leg and basically pulled a muscle or something and he's out for quite some time but i'd rather we not rush rasmus back so even if they're saying he's fit keep him on the bench and then let's try and keep it as a, like i said play defensive and try and hit them on the counter with rashford's pace and what's his name ganacho and if things are not working well or if we can hold out for uh, about 60 minutes and it's still nil nil Try and see if we can get to about the 70th or 75th minute with it still being nil-nil. And then that's when I'd look to introduce someone like Rasmus Hoyland for either one of Ganacho or Rashford, depending on who's playing better. Or you could also bring on someone like an Ahmed for the wing, uh, uh, from the wing position. So, again, um, that's how I would line up. And hopefully we don't get totally dominated tomorrow by Liverpool. Uh well it's gonna happen but hopefully we don't get smashed is what i tried to say because these guys when it comes to us man Klopp just always kills us back when we had Ole, he was killing us when we had and now that we had ten Hag is killing us i'm not trying to see another seven nil tomorrow that would just be devastating i've seen it and it's not good to see it's 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 as a united fan it's 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 yeah it hurts i'm not gonna lie it's not nice at all like we, this the last time we played them i think they gave us seven nil five nil Four nil, I think, as well. I mean, Klopp has just been demolishing Man United managers. Man, he got Jose sacked. I remember uh, back when Jose, I think, it was his last game. We went to Anfield and we got we, they just destroyed us. And he beat us three one. It was a bad score, but at least it was a bit respectable, you know. But he got Jose sacked. He he beat Ole five nil. I think he also beat him four nil. He beat Ten Hag seven nil. He's just given us some quite heavy, heavy defeats, you know. So I'm not trying to see that tomorrow. So hopefully we try and stay compact. Uh, don't try to go toe to toe with them because you're just going to destroy us. So just stay stay compact. Uh, play defensively for them. This is the one game which I actually actually accept that we're not good enough to actually go toe to toe with them. So play on the counter. It's fine. I know we are all traveling and people want us to attack, but guys, let's just try and get to like I said around 70th, 75th minute if we can keep it to nil nil. And from there, you can start to bring on some, maybe some attacking players and see if we can maybe get something on the counter. You know, maybe you can bring Hoyland off the bench and he can score, he can score the winner or something like that. But yeah, that's how I would personally line up for tomorrow's game. And yeah, apparently Liverpool have got Salah is back. Uh, so Boslo is back. Uh, I think Konate might be out, apparently, based on uh, Klopp's press conference. He might be out for tomorrow's game. They said it's going to be a close call, but it's not looking good. So that's good for us, Man United fans. But we've obviously got that kid Kwanzaa who looks good as well. So look, it looks like they're getting the the heavy hitters back. Of course, they're still missing missing Trent and, and Allison, but most of the squad is back now. So Liverpool are looking good in terms of the players they've got available to them. So all I ask of tomorrow is don't get embarrassed and let's try and win this game, man. I mean, I know they're the better side, they're the favourites, but it's a Carabao Cup. No, sorry. The FA Cup. Let's try and get something. Let's try and beat them. Even if it means we go to extra time or even penalties. Let's find a way by hook or by crook. This is the one game I genuinely don't care how we get it done, but just get it done. Just try and find the win, you know? So, yeah, those are my thoughts on to tomorrow's game. Hopefully we win. Um, but as for my score prediction, um, my heart is telling me that uh, we might somehow, just somehow, I don't know how, but somehow find a win. Stop them doing the quadruple. Uh, that would be lovely to see because they've been making noise about this whole quadruple thing of theirs. So I'd love for us to be the ones to actually stop them doing it by beating them and knocking them out of the FA Cup. So again, for my match prediction, my heart says, um, what do I think the score is going to be? My heart's telling me we're going to win. I don't know about the score, but I just somehow... My heart saying we're gonna win, but my head is telling me, uh, brother, we're losing tomorrow. So I don't know. My head is telling me we might lose about three one, but my heart is telling me we might somehow win two one. So don't ask me to pick which one I'm going with. Like I said, 
the head is saying, the head is saying we lose 3-1, the heart is saying we win 2-1. I think it's more hope than anything, if I'm being honest. But yeah, hopefully we win tomorrow and knock them out. But yeah, those are my thoughts on tomorrow's game. And yeah, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna be also, I'm going to be dropping um, a combined 11 video. I'm going to be doing a video whereby I'm going to do a combined 11 involving Man United and Liverpool. So obviously I'm going to do that based on uh, the players who are currently available. I can't be involving people like Alisson and Trent because they're injured. So there's no point involving them in that match, uh, combined 11. So I'm only going to be focusing on the guys that are fit. But yeah, uh, check out that video. It's going to be coming out soon as well. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, click the notification bell, you know, so you know whenever I go live or whether I post a, a video. Uh, drop a comment in the, about on the comment section and uh, share the video as well. And uh, yeah, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.